Hello everyone. Happy 2024. And I would like to say Dashi Dele. So Dashi Dele is in Tibetan language. So wishing for auspicious. Dashi meaning auspicious. De meaning happiness. Leg meaning well-being. So I wish all of you this coming new year more happy, joy, well-being, and auspicious uh, year. Although the past year we have a lot of turbulence, a lot of uh, conflicts, the war, many part of the world, and we gone through a lot. So wish that all these troubles, the conflicts, and the um, problems, together with the old year, pass, change. And this coming new year, wish all of you happiness, well-being, and not just happiness with the uh, external conditions, but also the lasting happiness discovered within ourselves. Now, I would like to discuss about um, how we, um, from the meditative aspect, how we can look at the situation. It's a lot of up and down, especially nowadays. And for me, of course, I'll, I always look at the positive aspect. I always having the hope. And though in my life, there's a lot of up and down. Of course, you all, many of you know about my panic attacks. And in my life, sometimes whatever I wish doesn't come. And special, like one of the big down moments is when my father died and my teacher, other teachers passing away. So what I do is, of course, sometimes the external circumstances we cannot control always. It's not in your hand, right? But our mind is always in our hand. Though we are in a very difficult situation, maybe a lot of problems, troubles surrounding us, but still our mind is in our hand. So I always try to work with my own mind and try to find the inner peace through uh, being with awareness, love and compassion and wisdom. And these three qualities, awareness, love and compassion, wisdom, always with us. And I always believe my true nature is wonderful. I try to see this with the people. People, of course, uh, my friends, easy to see this with my friends. And also I try to see this with a difficult person. Like uh, sometimes people said, oh, he or she is very difficult to work with it very difficult person, be careful, you know. But I try to look at the positive aspect, like um, what we call the basic goodness, innate well-being, everybody has a wonderful nature. And I look at that from that perspective. And after a certain level, I can find a good connection with that person. And then for me, 99% of the time, I can say, <laughs> I can become friends with people. We, we like each other up to a certain level. And we can work together. So, for me, in a way, it's not because of I'm powerful or I have special uh, kind of like capacity, not like that. It's through my wisdom, through my perspective. I see goodness within others. You know, one time, I discussed with the psychology about that and what they call self-prophecy. 
uh, theory, self-propacy theory, that what you believe, people are not good. Then turn out, people are not good for you. What do you believe? People are basically good. Then the people become good for you. Actually, your mind is transforming people around you and transforming yourself. So I hope all of us, especially this time, this uh, generation, we hope that everybody can learn this uh, believing the basic goodness, the wonderful nature within all of us, and we can communicate with that level. Then the peace and the kind each other, compassion flourish, and I hope the world will become a better place. And another thing I want to discuss is um, this year I will not, I decided not traveling outside of India and Nepal, so I want to do some break. And you know, last time I went to my three year, four and a half years, four and a half years wandering retreat. After that, I become very busy. So now I want to do more my personal retreat and a little bit like break, break, pause a little bit. And but I will teach here in Nepal, and uh, we have a now beautiful monastery here, and um, and where I'm here is in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, with surrounded by Himalaya mountains. So I'm going to teaching like in person so if you uh, want to join welcome welcome to come to Nepal and sometime I think in person teaching so with the community with the uh, physical learning with the face-to-face uh, -face, what we call the learning from a live heart heart beating teacher and the community is a it's very important impact. So something changed, something new. So next year we'll be in person teaching and I want to welcome all of you. If you have time and uh, resource, welcome. And finally, I would like to say a little bit about uh, that aspiration that we all make together. We will make aspiration for world peace for this year, no war. World will become peaceful and also um, the environment balance, the global warming soon end. And may all beings care and love each other and manifest the recognition of basic goodness. So we will do this aspiration and pray together, okay? So now, please, everybody join with me. And if you want, you can join both hands together. And that is the meaning of compassion and wisdom. Wisdom and compassion together. So both hands join together and we will uh, do this aspiration. So please, you can to this aspiration from, from your heart, that may this year will become peaceful and uh, may the war complete it end and may environment become balanced. May all the beings all the people and all beings recognize the quality of basic goodness that we all radiate love, compassion, wisdom, and we all live together as like great family, like friends, and free from craving, aversion, 
hatred, all this emotional defilement, may all beings have happiness and the causes of happiness, may all beings free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Thank you.